Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, career in money reading for Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for March 2022. You, you could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know for the month regarding your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look forward to. So feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. It also could be a situation that you know that someone's going through this. This doesn't have to be you, okay? Also keep in mind that these messages are general. Take what, uh, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements, okay? Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective readings for the collective Geminis, okay? Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular tapping into the collective Gemini. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your own energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Oh, um, also, uh, there is someone out there on Instagram impersonating me on Instagram. Okay. So just be careful. I would never reach out to you and ask for money uh, for my temple. I don't own a temple. Okay, so um, I did post up screenshots of the individual that that is impersonating me. Okay, so just uh, go and report this person, get them off of, off of social media. The only time I'm contacting you regarding money is if someone books a private personal reading with me, and I'm just confirming payment. I'm just confirming the platform being used, the time, the date, etc. So just be careful, yeah? Uh, and I only have two Instagram pages. One is listed in the description box below and another one is my dog. So just keep that in mind. Let's get started. We'll pull some Oracle messages and we'll get into the tarot. What messages do we have for Gemini regarding career and money for March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Gemini? What is surrounding Gemini regarding their career and their money for March 2022? We have beauty. Embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see, see who you really are. Consider career doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances others' beauties. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Okay, so maybe some of you guys work in the fashion industry or something like that. On the bottom of the deck, we have perfection. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome your fe fears of failure. You are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances. I'm feeling like there's a situation that, you know, someone's outer beauty might not be matching their inner beauty or something like that. You know, because someone looks perfect on the outside, but in the inside, someone here feels like they have to be perfect all the time. Uh, you know, the thing is, we're not really perfect beings. We always make mistakes. So um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for Gemini regarding career and money? We have treasure, worry-free finances, money in reserve, excess. Executive sales, planning, hidden talent. Heart, emotional spending, joint finances, being supported, counselor, guide, having a job you love. Okay, so I feel like this is something that you'd really love to do because it's creative, okay? Um, you know, I do feel like there's some sort of fear surrounding your finances here, okay? So I feel like, you know, your finances are fine, but I feel like you're worrying about that, all right? Let's see what else we have here. Why did I take this back? What else do we have here for Gemini? What else do we have here for Gemini regarding career and money? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We have opportunity, okay? And also there's something better. So I'm getting that perhaps, you know, some of you guys are not in the 
beauty industry right now and you're looking to get into it, okay, you're looking to show, show your talents to people. So I feel like there are, you know, there's something better and there are big happy changes here and there will be success. You know, you could be pursuing a business on your own, okay, or that you're working for others here and people are noticing your work. Um, okay, and what else do we have here for Gemini regarding career and money for March 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? So the deck I'm using has like maybe five or six extra cards, just so you know if that comes up. All right, we have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. You know, I feel like you're having a breakthrough in regards to what you want to do, okay? Um, so I've, I feel like this is something that you want to do, but you haven't done it yet because uh, maybe of the fear of money here, okay? Or that you're not getting paid enough. Um, so I feel like, you know, your ambitions here might have changed. I feel like you're taking the initiative to pursue this, okay? Uh, what else do we have here? It seems like you have a ma you're having a major breakthrough here, all right? What else do we have for Gemini? We have a Seven of Swords and a Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with a Queen of Cups here. You know, I feel like you're, I feel like you were in something that you were not happy in, okay? And I feel like this should be in the reverse. So I feel like this is, you were, you're currently or were in the job that you were not happy in and you were, pers and you're pursuing something that is going to make you happy. So there's this energy of, with the seven of swords that you're no longer sabotaging yourself here, okay? But be careful because I feel like in the beauty industry, there's a lot of competition here. So just be careful of people trying to sabotage you. All right, especially if you're a new kid on the block here. Um, we have the so we have beyond and then the six of cups here. So this is something that you've wanted to do for a very long time. And I feel like you're revisiting this again. You know, with beyond here, I feel like this is an energy where you this is where you're meant to do what you're meant to do here. Okay. You know, I feel like this is energy where you are your best self when you're doing this. Seems like you might be getting some sort of message here. I'm feeling like, you know, because the beyond, the key word on top is soul. So I feel like whatever this is, whatever this is, I feel like this is in your soul. Um, this is something that, that has been in you for a very, very long time. So I feel like this is something that you're revisiting. Okay, and that you're trying to pursue. What else do we have here? Page of Swords. And the Five of Cups. I'm feeling like there's some sort of pessimism here. I think it's based on fear. Uh, but I feel like you are moving on from something that's not making you happy. Ace of Swords. And we have the Page of Wands. You're definitely taking initiative here, okay? Uh, this is something that you're discovering again, rediscovering. I feel like you're rediscovering yourself, and I feel like you're rediscovering something that you have put to the side. All right, Aries energy, um, Leo Sag with that page of wands here. Um, you're definitely trying to start something new, okay? Um, we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Could be a situation with the Seven of Swords that someone here is stop, trying to stop you from doing this. This could be a parent figure with the Queen of Cups here, okay? Uh, and I feel like you might not be paying any attention to this person, Queen of Cups here. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here is not agreeing with what you're trying to do. But you are going to do it. Nothing's going to stop you, okay? Tell me about the beyond. We have the Ten of Wands here. I mean, there's this energy of definitely releasing your doubts here and definitely pursuing something that you shelved a long time ago. Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. This is something that you're going to work really hard on. So I'm feeling like this is something perhaps you studied in school, but you never pursued it. Uh, it could be a situation that after that, 
you pursued the traditional nine to five job and it's just not working for you, Gemini, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here? What else does uh, Gemini need to know regarding their career and their money for the uh, rest of March 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Gemini here. What else does Gemini need to know? We have the Three of Pentacles. There's going to be so much fulfillment here, but I do feel like you're going to be working with a lot of different people, okay? Um, I mean, you're going to be... Your money is going to be fine because I feel like, you know, with this, there is a fear of your money not being okay because you're, like I said, you're just starting out. You have to start back on the bottom of the totem pole and work your way up. But I feel like you're going to be fine. Like I said, I feel like a lot of people are going to notice your work and come to you, um, Gemini. What else do we have here? We have the tower here and the ten of cups. So Aries, energy, Scorpio, energy. There's going to be some great big changes here. And I feel like you're just going to be so satisfied with, um, with this uh, new journey that you're going to be on, okay? Um, you know, for some of you guys, you might you guys might be paired up here. But if not, you know, this is more so for yourself. What else do we have here for Gemini? You're definitely going through a major awakening, okay? You're definitely going through a major awakening. Yeah, I just, I just feel like you're releasing all these doubts and pursuing something that you've put to the side. Uh, we have the Strength card and then Seven of Cups. You know, I feel like you're gaining the courage to pursue this and just pursue the possibilities and just kind of take it as it comes and see what happens here. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. You know, I feel like a lot of people that you're going to be working with here is going to give you a lot of stress and anxiety here, but I feel like you're going to overcome this. I feel like with any sort of work, there is going to be some sort of stress and um, anxiety um, that comes along with it. And I, you know, from what I've heard and seen, you know, I feel like this, this is a really high intensity sort of work. Um, so Nine of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Swords. I mean, there's this energy where you are sort of like really going for it, okay? Sort of going for it. You know, there's it's an energy where you're gonna you're not gonna let anyone stop you here because I do feel like there's someone here that's trying to stop you in your tracks. I mean, that Knight of Wands, uh, that Knight of Swords. You know, typically for me, it's a it's mutable energy, so that's Gemini energy right there. But it could be any of the air energies, the Tower. Uh, we got the lovers here, Gemini energy. This is interesting because I feel like um, if you guys are single, you know, you might meet your love. Um, you might lead, meet uh, a new love in this new setting, this new work setting here, okay? Or that this is something that you just love to do, all right? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. Okay, for some of you guys, those of you guys that are not, that are not paired up, you guys might meet your person there. Okay, in regards to love, or that if you guys are paired up, things are just going really, 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 really great. All right. Um, strength. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay, this is definitely an energy of you know persevering. Okay, this is the energy of definitely overcoming here, okay? Uh, this is the energy that you're definitely fighting for, okay? Uh, seven of Cups. Wow, looking good. Four of Wands here. Whatever you're setting your mind to, whatever doubts you're, you're releasing here and just going for it, I mean, I feel like you're going to achieve what you're trying to pursue here, Um yeah, um, you know, with the star card here, I feel like you're going to be in the public eye or that you're going to be working with a lot of people in the public eye, all right? Yeah, there's this energy of definitely moving forward, perhaps traveling, traveling around a lot. So this is looking really good, Gemini. So Gemini, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.